Well, the Thanksgiving holiday travel rush is now underway. The TSA predicts this year will be the busiest on record, with more than 18 million passengers taking to the skies. And at Clinton National Airport, they're ready. Channel 7's Emma Allen joins us live tonight in our studio with the details. Emma, good evening. Good evening, Chris. That's right. Monday, as in yesterday and December 1st, are expected to be the two busiest days at the airport this Thanksgiving holiday. And if you're one of those people headed to the airport, we're on your side tonight with what you should know and do before catching a flight. Across the country, TSA predicts a new record will be set when it comes to the number of people flying this Thanksgiving holiday season. And here at home, KETV caught up with some passengers before they boarded their flights this evening. Oh, I went down to Dumas, visited my grandfather, visited some friends and my uncle in Little Rock, and then I went and visited my dad in Fort Smith. So I am actually flying to visit my family who I have not seen in uh, three months. Those passengers make up a small portion of the 50,000 people that are expected to catch flights at the Bill and Hillary Clinton National Airport during this Thanksgiving holiday. Thanksgiving starts the holiday travel season here at the airport and that will continue all the way until the 1st of January. Shane Carter, Director of Public Affairs for the Clinton National Airport, says this year security checkpoints are bracing for that increase in passengers. We're up about 7% from where we were last year during Thanksgiving. There are certain items you can and can't bring to the airport. And Carter says the number one item that you can't bring that slows people down the most is bottled water. Please know that you cannot have more than 3.4 ounces of liquid in your carry-on bag. Carter says there has been an increase in the number of passengers bringing firearms to security checkpoints and says it's concerning. So something that you can do is start packing with an empty bag. With those passengers that have a firearm, they tell police that they didn't realize they had it. So make sure you check your bags before you come to the airport. Now Carter recommends getting to the airport two hours before your departure time to make sure you have enough time to get through parking, ticket lines, and security. On your side, I'm Emma Allen. Okay, good advice, Emma. Thanks very much.